Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Chotel, also known as the Aligner Bee. And today we're gonna to take a look at assembling our new CS3800 intraoral scanner. So we've already unboxed our intraoral scanner. Let's go ahead and jump right into the assembly so that we be can begin intraoral scanning on our patients. So I have my mobile cart here. I like to keep my intraoral scanner on a mobile cart so I can take it from operatory to operatory quickly, easily, and efficiently within my practice. So let's go ahead and take out the laptop and get that set up. They package this really well. There we go. So we can see that we have a Lenovo ThinkPad here that we'll be using. We'll begin by opening up the laptop and attaching the power source. There has been a mouse that's been included with the computer. And here we have our power charger. I'm going to connect the power cord to the power charger. And we'll be ready to start our laptop. So the power is connected in the back of the computer. We can see the power port here. So we'll connect the power. And then I'll be ready to plug into our power source. Once we have our power set up, We'll begin by turning on the laptop. I'll need to place batteries in the mouse so that we can utilize this with our patient setups. And we can see the computer is starting with the CareStream logo. And we can see that our CareStream installation software has already been installed. Now, when you go through the installation process with the training team, they're gonna help you set up all aspects of your intraoral scanner. However, let's go through a few of those steps today. Let's go ahead and take a look at assembling our CS3800 intraoral scanner. I have the laptop set up and ready to go. So our next step is to begin assembling the CS3800 and begin the batteries charging. So I'm going to begin by taking the cradle and connecting this to the power source. I'm going to use our power cord that we found in the box and I've located the appropriate power adapter. I'm gonna place this in until it clicks and we're ready to go with charging in our cradle. I'm gonna go ahead and take the cradle and locate the power outlet plug in our power cord. And then I have placed a power strip on the bottom of my cart so that I can move the entire assembly from operatory to operatory within my office. One of the things that I have found helpful with my cart assembly are some of the customizations that I've made for a neat and clean appearance in front of my patients. As we saw, the power strip is located on the bottom We've also placed an opening through the back of the cart to feed all of the power cords up behind into the back of the cart. We're then able to run all of the power cords. And here I've used a simple cable tie to keep the cords neat and tidy. By keeping all of the cords neat and tidy, it really provides for a beautiful and professional appearance in front of my patients. With our power cord now in place and all of the cords tucked out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the power cord to the cradle 
and we're going to be ready to begin with placing our intraoral scanner here. So let's go ahead and take another look at assembling our wand. When the wand arrives, there are a protective covering over the tip and over the area for the batteries. I'm going to begin by taking off the covering for the tip, and I'm going to locate the intraoral scanning tip that I want to begin with. Today, I'm going to begin with the scanning tip that's for all of our traditional scanning, and I'm going to keep the angled attachment in the box. When we connect this, we're going to line up the ridges of the intraoral tip with those on the scanning wand. We can see here that there is an indicator on the front of the wand and on the scanning tip so that we can see we have these in the proper orientation. And I'm going to press the tip into place until we hear a click. Once we hear that audible click, I know that my scanning tip is fully attached to the wand. I'm then going to begin by placing one of the batteries into the wand. So we're going to take and we're going to line up the battery with the back of the wand and place in, pl in place until we hear an audible click. Our wand is now completely assembled. I'm going to go ahead and start the charging process by aligning the electric outlet with the place on the cradle. I'm gonna place this here. And when we see the yellow lights light up and flashing, we know that the wand and the batteries are charging. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to place the wireless receiver for the intraoral scanner on the laptop. Since we are scanning with a wireless scanner, we do need to have a wireless receiver to receive the information when it is going to the laptop. This is the magic that lets us avoid having the cord. We're going to begin by placing this in the USB outlet on the side of the laptop. Once that is in place, I am going to place this down onto the shelf on the back side of the cart. I'm then going to place the USB into the wireless receiver and I am going to open this so that it is ready to begin receiving the signal from the intraoral scanner. At this point, our intraoral scanner has been assembled and connected to our laptop. We're then ready to begin intraoral scanning on our patient. One of the really neat features that I would like to point out as we begin is that this laptop has a touch screen. This will help when we're ready to open our software quickly and easily in front of our patients, or we're able to manipulate the models on the screen in front of them. So that concludes the assembly of our new CareStream 3800 intraoral scanner. I'm so excited to begin using this with my patients in combination with my Model Plus software for clear aligners. For more tips and tricks on clear aligners and digital dentistry, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AlignerBee. I'll see you next time.